the only way to ride into the sunset. Giggle cream, it makes dessert funny. Asian pajamas, Chinese bandana, something missing? With a throwing star, Kendo stick. trip through hell, and I think it shows. Oh yeah, it does. I mean, I saw Satan. He didn't like what he saw. Like he saw darkness, but also a chance. Ask man, I can find treasure in the dark. Is that... Is that... Thing? Yeah, that's the thing that typifies me as an artist. Heart and soul. Head and trousers. Everything. That's what you get at one of my shows. Jazz Torrent and Love Fist will really show you, you know. We take the soul into darkness. Bring your lighters. You know, I invented that. I'm about had out of wankers ripping off my vibe. I wore women's clothing first. Why? Because it tells you about light and darkness. Like the moon. But seriously. Oh, big <laughs> thing. Tommy, man, am I glad to see you. What's going on? Bad vibes, Tommy. Aye, I'm knee joking again. It is heavy stuff, man. Heavy gang. This cat, we hardly know him, but he knows us. Like this cat, knows all about us. Knows that Willie likes his ladies' underwear, eh? Or that Percy likes to do that. Shut up, you fool. Just hey. get jazz bar yes. sheet. It's a love rocket thing, can. <laughs> Shut yeah, up. Yeah, a love rocket <laughs> thing, right? But listen, this cat. The, the guy wants love fist dead. Dead, Tommy. Love fist, gone. You know what they say, the good die young, but Tommy, you've got to save love We've fist. got a sign in, in two hours, and I think... Yeah, and, and the boys think the stalker's going to try some monkey business there. This guy's a real tiger, man. You have to understand, it's too soon. Because Shari left you, right? Babe, babe, my people spoke about this to your people. I said, do not mention Shari. It's like sticking needles in my soul, voodoo. Who are you? Are you my personal devil? If you could do this to me, the pain is too much. I have hair in my face. I'll see Lovefist burn. Lovefist ruined my life. We are marine. We couldn't be together. Seriously, don't go there. <laughs> this is so sad. Do you have a tissue out there? Oh, Jess, I'm so sorry. Seriously, love, if you listen to the song Dragon Eyes, it says everything that needs to be said about her. You can't help me. It's raw, like a chicken's head, you know? The pain grips you and makes you think about everything. It's the longest night of all. December of the soul. <laughs> Citizens of Vice City, now you've got the opportunity to win a partner with my signature. Tommy! Tommy! Tommy, man, that psycho's back! What's going on? That psycho won't leave Love Fist alone! You didn't kill him, man, and now he's back! Yeah, 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 the thing is... The thing is, we need someone to drive the limo we can trust, because that nutter keeps making threats! Don't tell me, I need my mom! We're all breaking ourselves, man! Okay, guys, calm down, I'll handle this. Normally I wouldn't busy myself with driving around a bunch of drunken Scottish bisexuals. But in your case, 
I'll make an exception. Do men have nipples? But one thing is for certain, the armpit smells bad. Luckily, there's Pit Bomb. At last, man, <laughs> time for a well earned drink. Are you finished? Just a hot of yards in the road, then? Better make it a large one, then. Hey, Tommy, change the tunes, man. I get all confused if my head's not banging. Ah, oh, look, what's this? Hey, Tommy, stick this tape on. No fist. Your time polluting the airwaves is over. I gave you the chance to be friends. Well, now I'm giving you the chance to die. You try and slow down, your limousine will explode along with your big airy asses. Tommy, pal, you've got to save the band. I'm getting bored of this. Hey, just keep the pedal to the metal. Gotta find it, Bob. Can't we just drive around all day? I would get plenty to drink. The bomb may be in the engine. We stop to get. We're all going to die. I'm going to get pissed. Hey, there's a few here, pal. Hey, man, I'm just near the drinks cabinet. Get out of my way. Hey, the vodka bottle's got wires coming out here. That's no vodka. That's boomshine. Ah! Ah! Wire to blow! Ah! Ah! No, it said the drink would kill me. I've seen this on the telly. You gotta pull out one of the wires. Which wire? I don't know, man. I don't have a clue. Willie, see, show me. I'm gonna play bass in hell. Tommy, man, keep driving fastball. Somebody do Willie. something. I clever. Somebody do something for kind of crap is that? I've seen braver queens. Okay, tough guy, you do something. Look, man, I play a musical instrument and I have a clue about bomb disposal. Well, he could just suck the boom shine out with a straw. I have heard that you're good at that kind of thing. Uh, hey, I was off my tits that night as well, you know. Just pass Willie a straw. I a straw? This is a low face to a bus. What am I going to get a straw fake if I mean? Which wire, Tommy? The green one. There isn't a green one. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, is this a green one? Any of these wires look green to you? Oh, no, this in the car, sorry, it looks green! I should have dumped you a lot when I had the chance, man. Glory seeker. Capitalist! I've been carrying you for years. Shut up, you muppet. Big screaming girl. Aye, shut it and pull a wire. Which wire? This one. No! Man, we're okay. We ain't been blowing up. Tommy, man, nice one. Rock and roll, man. And we got a kick to go to. A racket to make groupies to abuse. Oh, fast! Oh, fast! Oh, fast! Have you finished with our ball? There, people know you're a winner. This is Kate Chat. Welcome back to the show. I'm Amy Schechenhausen, and next up, we're going to be interviewing someone with a lot to say for herself. A woman who pretended to be a man and then wrote a book about it. I haven't read it, but I'm going to pretend I did. She's professor of anthrosociology and women's studies at the University of Vice City, and her name is Michaela Kravitz. Kravitz. Michaela. Michaela. Hi. Welcome to Kate Chat. Hello. Hi. So, Michaela, you're a teacher. Weird. God, everywhere I 
go. Just like the university won't let me display my beautiful and sensual woodcuts in the student commons. It makes me so angry! Where was I? You were talking about yourself? Oh, of course. The ego is a dangerous thing, especially in my case. I'm a yogi. Anyway, so what I did was dress up like a man and enter into the man world. I can tell you it was more horrifying than I imagined. What did you do? Well, the first chapter, I was a roofer. These sexists spent all day on a roof talking about us, Amy. I was expected to sit around and talk about what I had done to women. Of course, I had to, so as not to blow my cover. So what's the name of your book? Yes, as mentioned hitherto, my book has a very, very obtuse title. Being and Seeing. From Freud to the Building Sites, A Woman's Journey into the Male Psyche. Huh? What? I'll admit it's not very catchy, but academia is not about getting to the point. It's about exploration. Okay. Wow, I'm learning a lot today. Yeah. So I entered the world of men in disguise, of course. I was dressed like a man. Okay. And you haven't changed back? What? What did you say? You're still dressed like a man. No, I'm not. These are my normal clothes. Amy, for God's sake, don't fall prey to the patriarchy's evil fashion schemes! Oh. Tommy! Hey, Tommy, look at this. This is great. I've got us this mini bar installed. We got a whole bar downstairs, Ken. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Well, I got the chalkboard you asked for. Ah, that's the benefit of a law school education. The ability to follow instructions. No, I need a safe man. Oh, all right, well, let me think. Safe, safe, safe. I got it. This guy will blow you away. Ah, no, nah, that schmuck. He's on the inside. Where inside? And a police headquarters cell awaiting transfer. I think he's about to get paroled. See my thing. Bobo is dead. It's time to get back on the medication. Start piecing your life back together while locked up in a padded cell for a very long time. Or until you die. Is it that calm again, dog? Yes, ma'am. Come on, put on the street jacket. Where am I? Nothing seems right. Cam Jones? Yeah, that's me. I'm busting you out. Whatever you say. Is that Lose the heat and get me back to my place. This was the dam, 19, Central, Washington, Beach. This was the dam, 21, Central, Washington, Beach. Respond to the dam, 19, North, Washington, Beach. Mm. Test and food. Cross the dam, 19 North Washington Beach. Respond to the dam, 71 North Washington Beach. Respond to the dam, 19 North Washington Beach. Cross the dam, 19 North Washington Beach. Cross the dam, 71 North Washington Beach. Cross the dam, 71 North Washington Beach. Cross the dam, 19 North Washington Beach. Respond to the dam, 71 North Washington Beach. This is Rotterdam, 71 North Washington Beach. I got him. 
Hello, welcome back to KJAC. I'm a woman, so I know it's important to discuss feelings. That's why we don't have any male hosts on this station. People open up more to women. I was telling my girlfriend yesterday, if a woman were president, we'd nuke a country every 28 days. <laughs> In these times of trouble, of international scary things that cause anxiety, people seek soul ice. Or is that solace? Oh my god. Some visit lady friends, others go to a bar, and a strange few uh, hey. talk to rocks. My next guest is the author of this book, I'm Lovin' the Coven. She sits on the board of the Vice City Reson- Renaissance Committee, Gethsemane. 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 Welcome to the show. Hello, Amy. I brought you a crystal. Isn't it gorgeous? I guess so, if you're in the ocean glass. I prefer lacy gloves. Amy, for many thousands of years, my people have been using crystals and gem stones to heal the sick. Take the crystal, and then, when the night is enchanted, and the candles have been blown out, and the wind sings through the branches of the eucalyptus, hold up your arms and sing, All dewy, my sky-sailing pregnant moon, the goddess... Pregnant moon? What are you talking about? Just I'm going to be doing a job, Just and you're my safe cracker. Right, Beats losing my ass in his cell. Do you have a last name? My compost coven named me Gethsemane Star... Crystals, the ancient Chinese, Belgians, Superman, they all studied crystals. So why do you view it as so weird? Grab your crystal, hold it tight, and close your eyes. You will be transported back 35,000 years when the temperature of Europe began to drop. The tundra was teeming with animal life, and small groups of hunters followed the free-running reindeer. And there, under the magnolia tree, a woman breastfeeding a baby egg. Do you see it? It's nature. Ew, gross. You're one of those filthy hippies that thinks breastfeeding in public is okay. Well, <laughs> it's not. There are bottles of milk at the store. Don't act like a cow. <gasps> you really remind me of someone, by the way. See, Amy... Not of them. They're trying to outlaw nature. If I'm in the park... Gotta keep moving! We need a stick-up man, you know one? Hey, Tommy! Tommy, Tommy, this stuff keeps you sharp, man. Woo! I could be your stick-up man. Stick him up! Stick him up! You ain't a stick-up man, you're an idiot. Now get yourself a drink and shut up. Hey, get out of my way! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ow, ow, ow. Relax. Cam, what do you think? Well, the best shooter in this town is a guy named Cassidy. Is that so? Yeah, a military guy, or thinks he is. I doubt he was ever in the army, but he certainly knows how to get a hold of guns. He'll be down at the shooting range. Weird, and you smell like patchouli and compost, and I think you might have a shot at a boyfriend if you shaved and got some gel in your hair and put some clothes that fit or something. I mean, please. Did Joan of Arc shave? I was given this fascinating pamphlet called Caucasian Female Body Hair in American Culture. Amy, I love you like my sister, but honey, you're falling prey to a sustained marketing assault that began in 1502 to convince women that underarm and leg hair was wrong. There's nothing more natural than this enormous bush I've got growing under each arm. Having hair is natural. What's the deal with Anglo-Saxons? I mean, go to England. The women there don't shave their underarms. It's really quite attractive. 
You just need to focus your eyes to look for healthy signs and not the signs of socialized barbarism, like shaving or wearing deodorant or birthing in a hospital, rather than the open air like a wolf cub. Remember Brother Romulus and Noble Venus? Wolf raised. I find this really interesting. Not really, but I say this because I'm told to. I'll be back on K-Chat after these messages from our sponsors. Howdy, partner. It's 4.30 in the morning here at Farewell Ranch, and it's time to get up and work the old cows. Get up, y'all! At Farewell Ranch, old people don't sit around stagnating, watching game shows, and talking about the good old days, sinking into the grave in a urine-soaked mess. At Farewell Ranch, they sweat and toil until the breaking point, keeping that miserable contemplation of mortality in bay. Hell, steering time will work Grandpa so hard he'll wish he was dead. And at the end of the day, he'll sit down in the bluegrass, eat a bowl of commemorative beans, and enjoy sing-alongs at one of our nightly funerals. It's the Cowboys Code. Work hard, don't shower, and die in your boots. You Phil Cassidy? Why? I'm looking for a man who can handle a gun. In this setup, I'm not too convinced. Son, I can shoot a fly off your head at 80 feet. Oh, really? Yeah, I learned it in the Army. Fly shooting real popular in the Army? Glad I don't pay tax. You trying to be funny, kid? <laughs> Let's shoot!
So, you want to do me a favor and help me put together a job? Son, after shooting like that, if you asked me to be your wife, I'd say yes. Some people have craters and only a sixth of gravity. The ancient Britons knew the moon could breathe. We can change the world, rearrange the world. It's dying, hey. though, only, and it needs some mouth to mouth resuscitation, like a swan or a fish on a hook. If you take your nervous system seriously, if you take your organs seriously and explore them, some really neat things can happen. Phil told us that. He's been to Mali to meet with the village elders. That's why there's the ceremony of the knife. Oh, great. Why does everyone have to be packing sharp things? The knife ceremony is very important and spiritual. It's an ancient one-person personal crisis. You say to yourself, I'm going to have a spiritual experience or thrust this thing into my head. Life actors never rehearse and need no script, Amy. That was said by somebody who was passed out. And I'm going to say it again, like the wind which keeps blowing or the sun which shines with life. Will you please leave? You smell and you talk really weird and you're just really gross. Not until I tell people out there, become an internationalist. Learn oral traditions. Learn to respect life. Make war on machines. Marry your mother. Technology will enslave us. Buy my book. It's printed on bars. Okay, okay. Let's take a quick call. Hello, you're on K-Check. What's your name? Hey, it's Emmanuel from Fern Island. I love the show. Yeah, I want to talk about technology and sleeping us. You know that place? Things are starting to come together nicely here. What's the plan, Tommy? Que pasa, amigo? The plan is you keep doing that like a moron. <laughs>